Hello guys, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you how you can make dropshipping with Alibaba using your Shopify account. So, as you can see here into my Shopify, I have a lot of products and all of this product has been added from different suppliers. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using another one called Alibaba. So, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can redeem your Shopify account totally for free and you might be getting the reward Beside with the 14 free trial mode, you can see Shopify. You can try and you can use Shopify with a basic or start plan for the next three months with only just one dollar, which is actually a, like a really, really great deal. So to get started, what I want to do is to go into my dashboard. So you can see something like this. You don't want to focus in here. You just want to focus into apps. And here into apps, I want to type in here and I want to look for my supplier. Let's say, for example, Alibaba. So this one is going to be popping up a new uh, section of the apps from Shopify. And I want to look for Alibaba, which in my case, it's actually this one. So I'm going to hit in here. And then what I want to do is to actually import this. Uh, I actually want to install this into my store. Now, I must tell you guys that it's really important to actually sign into AliExpress in order to just sign into Alibaba to have an account here. So it'll be just really, really easy. So hit into add an application. And then what I need to do is to tap into install app. So inside the install application, as you can see, it says you are now signed in to your account. And this is my account. So if you don't have an account, you can choose to sign in with a different account and the process is just going to be really, really easy. Just provide an email and you're actually good to go. So in my case, I'm now inside Alibaba and the dropshipping supplier. Now, what do I need to do in order to import some items into my store and actually start to making some dropshipping? So first of all, I'm going to just get rid of the tabs that I actually don't need. So in my case, I'm going to delete this and these and this. And I'm going to go back here into my Desus. Here I have my AliExpress already imported. So I'm going to go back here. And then I want to actually look for products. So how do I look for the right product? That sort of depends on the category and what is the brand? What is your brand and what is the actual niche that you are actually making here? So let's say that I'm focusing into clothing. So if I want to look for clothing, I'm going to go into fashion and accessories here or beauty and personal care or uh, actually going to leave it into fashion accessories here. And there we go. So here I want to click into the X mark, X mark, X mark. And I want to locate local US stocked. So I don't have to keep my people waiting for more than 30 days to receive the account. So with that being said, I'm going to just look for items that I can sell. Let's say, for example, here we have this um, modern Chesterfield stuff. So I think this one is actually a lot uh, to use. So uh, I'm going to focus into something a bit more cheaper. Let's say, for example, this um, actual dropshipping fully automatic coffee machine. So click into add to import list. Or I can totally just do to click into the item. So this item is going to be sending us into the Alibaba section where I can see the supplier. So here the supplier has a store rating of four, six out of five, an on-time delivery date of 95, the instructions, a lot of transactions, the staff, floor space, services, the quality control, the certifications. So uh, a winning product is also a winning verified supplier. If we have an amazing verified supplier, nothing is going to be that so bad. So, and the actual plug tab is from the US, and they have actually shipping to, to, to the US as well. So, if you find the right item for you, just hit into import, and you go go back into the import list. So here into the import list, what I do want to find is to actually set it up my stuff. So I'm going to just scroll a little bit down. And here, as you can see, this is the actual stuff. Here's the product. Here is my supplier. So here to have the shop dripping for the automatic coffee machine, I'm going to hit in here so I can edit uh, a few details. For example, I don't want to see this home machine, coffee machine, a little like this. 
you can leave it into fully or automatic and tax you can leave it like that product type and the collection you're going to leave it into the home page like this and here you have the description i don't want to mess around with the description because actually they do have a lot of information already set it up so in my case actually we don't have anything added yet but you don't have to worry about that and here as you can see here is my sku the block type the color and the cost so speaking about the cost and the shipping fee you want to add this and this into the latest price so you can earn your profit in here so here for example the profit speaking about mxn i think it's a lot so i'm just going to focus into eight for example here or even five there we go and compare the price you want to copy this one paste it in here and what i want to do is to input a greater uh price so there we go so i'm going to delete this one two three four there we go and then we get into push to store so once again i'm going to delete this this is something that can be helping me to actually just uh make sure that my item now has like a great great uh sale here so five nine one six so i just have nine and hit into push to store now i want to choose my shopify store push to store uh let me go into my products and here as you can see this is the product that has been listed product being pushed to your store it's really easy to push that into your your actual store so once this has been successfully done go back into your shopify and here i want to look for products and here as you can see here is my automatic coffee machine home designed there's just one variant and 33 into stocked so if i clicked in here i just want to make sure that my product has been added into the home page collection there we go so if i go into my online store and i go into view my 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 store live i should see that my product has been added automatically here it is and here's the sale price that i was talking to you earlier so i compare the, the sale price into the actual one that we just added here so we automatically have a sale price so people can just figure it out if actually it's worthy or not for them and here as you can see here's the image here's the reference and everything has just been added correctly so with that being said guys we've reached into the end of the video this is how we can import some dropshipping stuff into alibaba so if you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you want to see more stuff about the alibaba and the shopify as well so thank you once again and i will see you in the next video